Now, here's a quick one about a guy who wants to kick his pregnant wife out of the house after she's gone too far. And you know it's definitely gone too far when a guy reaches that point. Title, would I be the a-hole if I asked my pregnant wife to move out because she and her best friend decided to test my loyalty? Now, listen to this. My wife is pregnant with our daughter. Initially, we were really happy and excited about it. But then she started acting like a nut job. She gets angry and irritated for small things, insults me when she doesn't like the food I make, starts acting insecure, and accuses me of losing attraction for her. Losing attraction for her? Well, she's acting like an a-hole and treating him like garbage, and not to mention putting on a ton of weight. That could be understandable if a guy loses some attraction. For example, she wanted to eat chicken sandwiches for dinner last week. Well, I made chicken sandwiches. So she eats all the sandwiches, leaves me nothing, and told me they tasted like shit. I wasn't pissed because she left me nothing. But if she didn't like them, why did she have to eat everything? When I asked her this, she told me she was hungry. Okay, fine. She does, she does this every time. Eats everything and makes it and calls it crap. I don't argue with her because I work more than 80 hours a week and I really want to have some peace when I'm home. So she's treating him like complete freaking garbage all the time. And uh, that ain't cool. But of course, he's also taking it and being Mr. Nice Guy. There's a, I get, I mean, let me rephrase this. I'm sure it's pure hell carrying around a little human being inside of you. And one can understand being stressed out, keyed up, um, in pain, all that morning sickness, all that nauseous all the time. But it doesn't mean it gives you the right to act like an a-hole to a guy, your husband, who's treating, doing everything he can to help you. Seriously. And he shouldn't take it. So yesterday, a random girl starts flirting me at the gym and asked me if I wanted to meet up with her for some drinks. I rejected her and told her I was married. What a good guy. He could have he could have said uh, done something totally different. And when I got home, my wife started to hug me and apologize. When I asked her what happened, she told me that her best friend suggested a test of my loyalty. Oh, because this guy has been acting loyal enough already? So they asked a mutual friend to flirt with me and ask me out. And I passed. Yay. I'm really pissed. I'm done with her antics. Would I be the a-hole if I asked you to move out? He says, also, I don't live in the USA. Please don't discuss legalities based on the laws there. After all the crap, which he's moody, yelling at him all the time, exploding over the chicken, insulting him, leaving him insecure, now she gets one of her friends to pretend to ask him out to test his loyalty as if his behavior and support for her was enough loyalty as it was? What an a-hole. I can't blame this guy at all for wanting to say, that's it, I'm done with you. You're having my kid, fair enough, but we're done. Get the hell out of the house. You know, get the fuck out of here. Again, I don't have no idea what it's like to be pregnant, okay? And I'm sure it's pure hell, carrying a little human being inside for nine months and the, being nauseous all the time and the morning sickness and putting all away. That is a hell of a lot that the gals go through and believe me, it's tough, but that's no right to treat your guy like that. And also, the guy shouldn't take that crap. A lot of guys think I just got to put up with it. But getting the friend to ask him out and given how she's treating him, he could have done something, but he didn't. This guy shows he's loyal. And so in the end, he's reached the point he's like, enough of this bullshit. I really want to get her the hell out of here. You can't blame him. So the point of this whole story is, guys, do not be, if you, for you relationship guys that have wives, do not just think you need to take abuse. That's bullshit. And for you ladies out there, yeah, you're going through, hard, t it's tough, sure. But that doesn't give you the right to shit on your husband. I'm sure you wanted that child just as much as he did. And that part, the, getting the friend to do that. But I've told you all the time, guys, women test, always, and be aware of it. And that takes it to a whole new freaking level. I wish him luck.